Hi and welcome to Workout 4, Language. So why is language so important to be a successful business brain? Well, let me explain something to you. If I write out this phrase, which is quite limiting, I can't do this. It's limiting because it expresses no possibility. And great business brains and resourceful individuals, they understand that we've got to challenge limitations and push boundaries, okay? So there are three key questions or types of questions I want to focus on. There's the why questions, the how questions, and the what questions. Now in very simplistic terms, when you ask a why question, you're looking for a reason or a purpose, if you like, a justification to something. With a how, you're quite often looking for a process or a system or a methodology. And then with the what, generally speaking, there's an experience to be had, hopefully different from this, okay? So being a great business brain means being a great self-coach or coach to others. So we can unlock people's potential and express uh, abilities to get to the mission that we're looking for. So this statement's probably not gonna help many people. So let's look at how we can ask some really relevant questions to change this. So one of the first questions I might ask is, when you say you can't do this, what's stopping you? Okay? And they'll give you some sort of experience that you maybe are not aware of. Okay? Imagine you could do this. What would need to change? Again, the experience, something different. Then you might break it down even further. Why do you think you can't do this? If you could do it, how would you do it? So if we highlight this particular word, which is around identity, I can't do this. What is it about you that means you feel you can't do this or you think you can't do this? It's quite a powerful question when you think about it. How about this? Who else do you know has done this and what did they do differently or how did they go about doing it? Interesting, right? Then we've got the can't. Imagine you could. How would you need to think and behave differently? gives you a new process, unlocks that potential. I can't do this. When you say you can't do this, what exactly do you need to do? It's not particularly clear, okay? And why do you feel that you can't do that particular thing in comparison to something else? And then this, it's a generalization. Please be specific, what is this that you feel you can't do? Because it might not be the whole thing, it might just be part of it. So let's take that as an example, again going back to networking. I really don't like doing networking, I can't do this. You can actually suddenly create a more resourceful networker by exploring the questions and exploring possibility rather than limitation and move them somewhere else. So what I want you to do now is again take away maybe 30 minutes, an hour, and think about that limiting map that you had and maybe create maybe some more that you might hear from other people or that you might be having about your outcome and formulate some really interesting questions to explore this and be curious about the limitation and then answer some of those questions in a more resourceful way and see what happens. Hi, so now you understand a bit more about questions. I wanna show you a really cool technique that I think you'll find interesting, uh, which will help you formulate even better questions and it's called framing, okay? Now, some of you may have heard of framing when it comes to questions, but actually, anyone who's interested in art will know that the frame you put around a painting can actually enhance it. And framed questions are no different. What it does, it allows you to contain some of the information that you're looking for within that framework so you don't stray off and you keep on point. It's quite interesting in itself because most business brains know that you've got to remain focused. So, some interesting questions that you could frame could be built around certain topics. So you might want to create a possibility frame. It might look a bit like this, okay? So when you're in the possibility frame, let's use those questions again. Why do we think that's possible? Why do we think it's not possible? How can we make it possible? How can we make it easier so it's more possible for us to achieve in a smaller space of time? What are we looking to achieve that's impossible? What's possible about the whole thing and what's possible about small parts of it? And so what you're actually doing is you're containing your train of thought and focusing solely on possibility and not straying away from that. 
if that's what you're looking for. Another uh, example of a, a, an interesting frame could actually be interest in itself. So you might create a frame of interest. So you might say to somebody, why would you be interested in this particular product or service? How can I help you become more interested in it? What part of my product or service is interesting to you? Which part isn't interesting? I'm just curious to know. So simply by doing this exercise and containing the questions, you're getting more resourceful outcomes leading towards your mission. So I think one of the most important exercises you could do is go away and think about containing some of your questions within a frame. And here's some examples. You could use a how frame. You could use a curious frame. You could use a possibility frame. You could use a why frame. You could use an outcome frame. But again, go away and think about five or six questions that you could build around each of these frames and think about how they all relate to your mission.